When it comes to training chest guys, you always want to make sure that you're isolating the chest, meaning that you're not using primarily too much either front delt, too much tricep to push the movement. You want all that tension to be on the chest. Hey, what's going on guys? Ben Tucker here. We are back now for a training video. So this is gonna be the first training video that I probably would have done for this series, the Shred series. However, unfortunately, I am still in a bit of pain with my back, so I won't be able to um, go as hard as which I normally do. However, what I will be able to do is show you exercises that will probably will help you guys, because if any of you are suffering with, you know, like a bad back or a bad shoulder or something like that, these sorts of exercises are really gonna help you with that. What we're gonna be doing in the gym today is we're gonna be doing a chest workout. So the gym we're gonna be going to today is in fact my home gym which is that gym, just there. It was built this year, it's not done just yet, but we're working on it. So there's still bits in there that I need to get done. There is where I train clients in there, one-to-one uh, -one training. However, it's not completely finished. There's still mirrors to be put up, there's still banners to be put up, there's still equipment to get in there. However, currently at the moment, it is a very good chest workout in there, and I'm gonna show you how it's done. First things first though, we gotta eat. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna eat pre-workout to get me up for this training session of chesticles. So here it is guys, my pre-workout meal. We have got 160 grams of chicken, uh, one cup of white rice, and half courgette, about 50 grams of mushrooms, and a quarter of an onion. So yeah, little tip, add small cubed up little vegetables to your rice, it will volume up your food and make you feel a lot fuller. We're gonna eat this and then probably I'll get back to you guys in about an hour, and then I'll show you the pre-workout little ritual. So one thing that I would do religiously before every workout that I pretty much tend to have is take a pre-workout supplement. This is gonna give you energy, it's gonna give you a caffeine boost, it's gonna pretty much ensure you have a good workout, especially when you get in them stages of dieting, when things start to get tougher, you don't have as much energy, something like a good pre-workout supplement is really gonna boost you up. So we have just drunk our pre-workout. We're gonna go and hit chest up in probably about 30 minutes. That's how long I normally take to take my uh, pre-workout drink. So we're gonna hit chest workout up in 30 minutes. Uh, I've never had them pre-workout supplements before. These were from uh, Rich Piana's 5% Nutrition. This one is full as fuck. Can I say that on YouTube? Um, well anyhow, this one, uh, I've had that, I've used half of that one, that's good, it's like full of nitric um, oxide, which basically helps with the pumps in the gym to get those veins going, and then this is a 5150 blend that I've never actually tried before, and it's starting to go to my head a little bit, and my lips, so I'm guessing it's good. So guys, it is slightly dark, but we are actually in the gym, um, this is my home gym, so it hasn't got any sort of um, lighting up there. The only light I've got is this little studio light. I am in the process of getting lights fixed in here. However, for now, we're just sort of dealing with this uh, lamp that I've got. But there's a lot still that I need to get done in here. Actually, looking at this footage now, it's probably better if I do these video workouts in the day if we're not going to a proper gym. So what I'd like to do in here, I do want to get some more um, mirrors put along here. So I want to get mirrors put along there, get my banner with the Ben Tucker Fitness and Nutrition logo, put at the back, 
maybe get this ceiling plasterboarded. I'm not too sure yet. Um, Cause it is quite good to kind of like hang off and um, do some like pull ups and bits on it. But yeah, so there's still bits to be done. I've still got equipment that I need to buy. As you can see here, some of the equipment is pretty good. So here we've got a bench and my plates there. Some more plates. And then this bad boy, this goes from like a lap pull down into a chest press. And it just depends where you put the weights. Put them on the back here or on the front over there. And then we've got this little crappy little bench thing which I need to sell actually. Um, but that, that needs to go. That was a mistake buying that. It, I don't fit on that at all. And then here we've just got the one to 20 kg dumbbells. These are pretty good, I like them. However, I do think I need some heavier dumbbells. Uh, these are doing for now. And then we've got a treadmill here, but it doesn't work. So that's gonna have to get changed and I'm gonna have to put something else here. And then we've got the foam roller here as well. So, um, and then just a few like mats, miscellaneous bits, pull up bar, and then we've got more equipment coming. But yeah, this is pretty much the, the gist of it, guys. This is my mirror at the moment so this is the one that i'm just using to kind of film off and to um, take progress pictures in uh, it's just like a normal mirror until we get the ones put on the back but this will do for now so anyway it is chest day after that little tour of the gym um it is chest day and for me chest was a lagging body part i ended up training it twice a week for about a year and ended up bringing it up pretty good standard. So what I wanna do is show you guys how I train my chest, especially now that I'm in a dieting phase, when the thing that I seem to lose the most is my chest. And I do need to try and somehow uh, retain that. So I'm gonna go show you guys how I train my chest and my chest workout. It's just me and you in here tonight. There's no one else. We'll probably get some music on. We'll warm up because it is freezing outside. Um, and it's also very dark, as you can see here in England, it is getting darker, it is nearly Halloween, the clocks do go back this Sunday, so it's only gonna be getting darker, so we need to get these lights fixed. But first, let's get this chest fixed. Chest workout, Unero one. First thing first though, before we start any of this workout, we've gotta warm up, and the way I do that is to warm up my shoulders, my rotator cuffs, and I'll show you how it's done. Just grab some light dumbbells, and just literally force them out like this. And then we're just gonna bring them up. So the purpose of doing this rotator cuff warm up is to ensure that we don't get any injuries during this workout, any nicks and pains. Obviously the last thing we want is injury. Do that for three sets and then you can move on to our first exercise. First exercise, we're gonna be doing incline barbell bench press. This is so that we target the upper chest, first thing first in a workout, so that whilst we do the whole workout, we're targeting our upper chest more, as that is a lagging point for most people. It's very easy to hit the bottom part of your chest, so your lower pec, however, to hit the upper chest, that gets more difficult, and that's when you really have to use that mind muscle connection. However, first things first, warm up just on the bar, 20 reps. As is our first exercise, we want to make sure that our muscles are completely warmed up. So with this being our first exercise, do lots of sets, do at least five sets on this, doing two pretty much warm up sets, and then three nine working sets, and then make sure that last set is a big set. Second warm up set. That was a bit heavier, that set. Felt good, 12 reps. Got that on that. Next up, we'll probably up here, 10 aside. Go up, it's probably about 10 reps from down from 12. But we're gonna up that way. Progressive overload, guys. Always progressive overload. So 
So I didn't show you guys, but at the start, when I was making my pre-workout, I also made up some BCAAs. This is 10 grams in this big, uh, like, is that a litre? In this big shaker. So I've got like nine on a litre of BCAAs. I will drink that during my workout. Sometimes when it's hotter, I'll have to drink more. Sometimes it's up to like two litres. But tonight, on this cold evening, I'll probably just have the one litre of water. I've drunk enough anyway. BCAAs, brilliant to help hold on to muscle mass while you're dieting. So while you're um, trying to lose weight, when you're in a caloric deficit, and you're burning up lots of calories, you need, whilst you've not got loads of food, you need that extra push, you need that extra edge, just to help sustain that muscle mass. If you don't, if you can't afford them, and you can't get them, don't worry guys, it's not the end of the world, I promise you. However, they do help, they do give you an edge, and they give you that bit more energy when you need it. Final one, make it bloody count. So what we just did on the incline bench press, that was five sets. Rep rise, we went from 20, 15, 12, 10, seven. And I think we got the last two seven actually. We started off on a low weight and then we progressively increased the weight. And if we didn't increase the weight, we at least increased the, um, the rep range. So that progressive overload guys, keep doing better than you did before. Now, next exercise. Definitely need some sort of light around this area because now, we're getting a bit darker and it's not as easy. Let's see, we'll get this sorted. This place needs a lot of work. A bit like me. Anyway, first, so on this guys, we're gonna be doing four sets. And I want you to do that progressive overload again. So start on a weight where you get nigh on a good warm up set of about 20 reps, not pushing it too hard. Then progressively increase that weight each time and to the point where you're getting about six to 10 reps out of that last final set. With this one now, this is a flat machine press, technically the same as like a flat bench press, but it just hits the muscle a little bit differently. I'll show you guys the set. If you actually notice my body shape, like how I'm kind of stanced on this machine, I actually kind of reduce the, um, the range of motion. So I kind of lift my head up and I also bring my knees up into the bench. That limit of the range of motion is really gonna target the chest. You kind of put a deep feel on the chest and that is how you kind of target it perfectly. So feet up, head up, I'll show you on the next set. But that was the first warm up set. So the next one, we'll be looking to increase the weight and down the reps possibly. But we'll see, push it hard on every set guys. Doesn't matter, just push it hard on every set. Two plates aside, second set. Let's get it. Not bad, it's coming. Quick pump check. <laughs> In this gym, as you can probably see, I don't actually have any um, uh, like cables or anything like that. So predominantly this, or predominantly this chest workout is gonna be mainly pressing focused. However, I'll show you how to do some flies with the dumbbells. And now we've got chest flies. So what we're gonna be doing for this is the same principle. Four sets, first warm up set, and then the next three, progressively upload that weight or rep range. So, here we go, first set. So when it comes to doing chest flies, you always wanna keep a neutral grip. So, don't turn your hands in 
too much, so you're sort of flying it like that. Kind of keeping it a nice, uh, firm sort of, I imagine, thumbs up, so that they always stay in line. And then slightly bend your elbow as well. What that's gonna do is it's gonna help keep the tension all on your pec, so we're not having any of it go on to any other muscle. Round two, let's go. They start to hurt. Does anyone else get hard nipples whenever they take pre-workout? Fireworks. Oh yeah, it's fireworks night tonight. I wonder if we can see any. Let's go out the gym, out round the side. God, that's windy. Probably be able to see some later. It's too cold for me out there. So I nearly left you guys over here then for a second. So we are now on the final exercise. If I can just plop you there straight. See that, so we are now on the final exercise of an incline machine bench press. This is a brilliant one, it's a good finisher because where it's a machine, I like to finish on machines because you can kind of push yourself to failure on them. You know, you haven't got to worry about stabilizing the bar or dropping the dumbbells, doing anything like that. It's already stable, so you can kind of go balls to the walls on this one and then have a good, uh, good finish into your workout. So with this exercise, four sets, eight to 12 reps. Get a working warm up setting of around 20 reps and hit the others up as if your life depended on it. I'm just kidding. But guys, do push your workouts. Honestly, there really is no reason coming to the gym if you're not gonna push yourself. You gotta, you gotta work hard for those games. They don't come easy. If it was easy, everyone would have it. Right, mindset's correct now. Woo, let's get into this. Round three. Two, three. Starting to really fatigue now. And that's what you want. You want to be feeling tired by the end of your workout. If you're not feeling tired, you've definitely not pushed it enough. The muscle is starting to hurt, starting to uh, lose that glycogen. I definitely need to go and get some grub soon. But however, we've still got two more sets left on the chest press incline machine. So we'll go and fit that in very quickly and get this done. Because it's hurting now. I want to rest, I want to sleep. It's getting late now. But however, we still put that work in. We still get it done even when we don't want to, because we're determined and we're gonna reach these goals together. Right guys, that is concluded most of our workout now. All we've got to do now is just stretch off, in, out, done. Coming in here when you really don't want to, when you're not really feeling up for it, and then busting through these workouts, you know, getting them finished, leaves such an achievement for you for the rest of the night. I'm not gonna lie, that was difficult. My fitness is very down at the moment. I need to increase, improve on that drastically. So this chest workout, 
it was good, it was heavy tempo. I feel like I can't even, can't even shake them because they're so pumped. They're so pumped right now and it's such a good feeling. Guys, try this in your chest workout. It's only four exercises and then you've got like, you know, a set of 20, 15, 10, and then an eight. And then if you want on the last set of each set, try a drop set for that extra burn. So let's do a quick little physique update just to show you guys kind of how we've done in the last three weeks. And at the click of my fingers, this shirt will be off. Boom, would you look at that. Um, so as you can see guys, it's not doing too bad. There's still, still work to be done, but we're definitely getting some shape back. More in the chest, more on the shoulders. It's coming, it's coming slowly, but you know what guys? We are honestly in this together. I'm really trying to build back that physique that I had. It can be done, and I'm living proof for you guys now that I'm doing it. So you just gotta watch me, watch my videos, and you'll see how it's done. Because building muscle and dropping body fat, it is achievable, it is so achievable, but you just gotta know how to do it. So you can see in the mirror, it's not too bad, could be better. Definitely starting to get some shape back. Yeah, for me, abs are a lagging point. They always have been. They never seem to come through. Even when I'm at my leanest, I still only had a few abs. I love having certain goals to reach when, you know, apart from your day-to-day -day normal life, you've got something that you're actually really working towards, really going for, something that gives you a bit of a purpose, you know, when it comes to just like a daily life. You know, something like just going to the gym, having a goal to just lose body fat or put on some muscle. You know, once you've achieved these goals, they are so rewarding and they are so fulfilling and you feel great about yourself. And trust me guys, once you start seeing results, it becomes an addiction, guaranteed. So guys, thanks for watching this chest workout. And if you really enjoyed it and you wanna see more from me, then please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Like it, comment on it, let me know what you thought and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys, have a good evening. You know, you just gotta do what you can do, work around injuries, work around adversities within life, and just not make excuses for yourself, and just crack on with the workout, crack on with your plan, crack on with your goal, and don't let anyone, anyone sidetrack you. Stay true to yourself, stay true to your goal, and good things will come, and I promise you that it will be worth it in the end. Bit of motivation from me right there. Check that one out, have it. <laughs>